In this short video, we will be taking a look at Verica force charts. Force charts is part of the Verica feed rate optimization module available from CG Tech. At the top of the Verica session, we have a tab called Optimize. Within that, we have a submenu called Optimize Control. We now have a drop down box labeled Mode. From this, we'd like to select force analysis. We select our stock material that we're cutting, and we get a green light to tell us that Verica has found the force material record and that the optimization is active. Now we can press play on our Verica simulation. And as this is running, we can open the force charts, instant feedback, on cutting data and conditions. As you can see, the chart on the screen is giving us live data, but we'll analyze this once the cycle is completed. Now that Verica has reached the end of the program cycle, we can reopen the force charts and start to analyze the data. Within the force charts menu, we are met with an overview of all the tools used within the NC program. We can also break this down tool by tool. Force charts also gives us the option to look at torque or power, deflection, and the program feed rate. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at chip thickness and force. When we hover our cursor above any point of uh, the data within the force charts, on the left hand side of the force chart window, we get instant feedback to what the chip thickness is that's being generated and the force that's being generated. When we look at this tool, we can see we have quite a constant chip thickness across the program cycle. But towards the end of the program here on the right hand side, we have a large spike within chip thickness and force. Force charts are fu fully interactive, so we can click anywhere within this and it will take us to the line of NC code, which produce that piece of data. If we take a look at this large spike, we can right mouse click and draw a box to zoom in. And we want to look at this because this could be an area that could cause poor surface finish or a cutter breakage. Now from here, again, we can click to go to our line in NC code, but we can also put Verica in review mode. When we're in review mode, Vericut's graphics are also updated. From here, we can use a single block function. And we can start to analyze what is causing the spike within the data. As you can see in the force charts, the blue dot will move uh, to where we are within that part of the data. So our highest point, we can now start to look at what is causing that uh, large spike. From here, we can go back into our CAM session and make the appropriate changes to rectify the problem. Or if you have the full force module, we can make these changes instantly within the Vericut session. But we'll cover this in a later video.